Why don't other Arab countries like Jordan and Egypt help our Palestinians? Or even take them as refugees? Pretty sure the last time Jordan tried that they tried to kill the king. There's this bizarre idea in Western political discourse that you can just take refugees or immigrants with no or minimal problems and that therefore the onus is on countries to explain why they're not taking refugees or immigrants. Just let the refugees in, just open your doors to more immigration, why don't you, you meanie? Letting hundreds of thousands of new people into your country, whether your country is Germany or the United States or Egypt, is a serious, in some cases irreversible political decision, and it can and often does lead to enormous problems. Who are these people? What are their backgrounds? Which of them are criminals? Who's going to feed them? Where are they going to be housed? What are they going to do for work? What effect is that going to have on your domestic labor? Are they going to get involved in your local politics, and if so who are they going to back? Are they ever going to leave? These are all questions that, ideally, you should have damn good answers to before you let a wave of refugees in. I assume Egypt realized that it did not have satisfactory answers to some, maybe any, of those questions, and exercised its right as a sovereign state to close their border. They did in the past and the refugees started a war in Jordan which involved them trying to kill the Jordanian king and in Egypt the Palestinians repaid the Egyptians kindness by turning to terrorism inside Egypt when the Egyptians started to normalize relations with Israel. There's a reason Egypt also built a massive wall and heavily guards their border with Gaza. Edit. Since people have asked, and some people have claimed I'm lying, for anyone interested just Google Black September and the 2004 Sinai bombings for information on about both topics. Probably because they have in the past. Google Black September and the 2004 Sinai bombings. There are two answers. Number one. It's very hard to take that many people in as refuges, more so the poorer your nation is. For wealthy nations taking refugees can be much easier and can actually be economically beneficial. Number two, because a good deal of the population in Palestine is radicalized. When Jordan took refugees and they attempted to kill the King of Jordan cause a huge amount of international issues by hijacking aircraft flying them to Jordan and blowing them up on the ground. When they were led into Kuwait they supported the Iraqi invasion. When they were expelled from Jordan to Lebanon they destabilized the nation. No it's not all of them, but it's enough of them that no one wants to allow them into their country. People should really read a history book or two. There is good reason for why Jordan and Egypt want nothing to do with Palestinians. Same reason the US, Mexico, Colombia, Argentina don't help out El Salvador, Honduras and Guatemala. Because getting involved in other countries' conflicts potentially threatens your country. Why don't we Americans just open our border and take in any refugee who wants to come here? because you can easily be overwhelmed and endanger yourself trying to save too many people from drowning. Palestinian refugees already make up something like a third of the entire population of Jordan. In 2012, the Egyptians briefly flirted with having a real democracy after Hosni Mubarak was overthrown in 2011 following the protests in Tahrir Square. Mubarak had been in power for about 30 years after assuming power following the assassination of Anwar Sadat. During Mubarak's rule, Egypt was supported by the US and had normalized, insofar as possible, relations with Israel. In 2012, Elections were held in Egypt and, wouldn't you know it but Mohamed Morsi and the Muslim Brotherhood came to power. In case you aren't aware of who the Muslim Brotherhood are, they are Islamic hardliners in Egypt who hate the US and Israel. The Muslim Brotherhood was in Gaza and they eventually led to the creation of Hamas. So, more protests, depending on your news source, occurred in 2013 and when the dust settled, Morsi and the Muslims Brotherhood found themselves out of power after a coup d'etat which replaced them with the US-backed military officer, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. 
And with that change, a regime that was more friendly to the US and its Middle Eastern objective was back in power in Egypt after democracy was attempted for two years. Part of this is Egypt's support for Israel. If they leave they never go back and lose their lands. Permanent issue for these countries as well as the refugees. They did and they do. A huge number of Egyptians and Jordanians have Palestinian ancestry. But two things. Neither countries want to get pulled into a wider conflict with Israel as it is expensive and both have shaky economies. Egypt and Jordan are both nationalist dictatorships with shaky economies. Neither is interested in housing any more refugees than they're already stuck with. A lot of people talk a big game about supporting Palestinians. Very few actually do anything, they are worried about terrorism and religious fundamentalism. Ask Lebanon what happens when you let Palestinians in. Yusu Nayat. Jordan took in a lot and got rewarded with a murder king and a lot of problems. Lebanon took in a lot and got a civil war as reward. Other states learned their lesson. Since the Yom Kippur War, every other Arab state has kind of accepted Israel's existence as a done deal, even if they died like it. The Palestinians are the only ones left with a desire to crush Israel, and are absolutely willing to use terrorism and assassinations against any Arab state that they see as unwilling to fight Israel, which has happened to Jordan, Egypt, and Lebanon. This is why neither Egypt nor Jordan want to rule the Gaza Strip West Bank respectively, as they both did previously following the first war in 1948, because it means ruling over Palestinians who have no qualms about killing your leaders for not supporting their cause. Basically, no one thinks they are refugees looking to start over in a new, safer place, but rather people who are only focused on the damage they can do to Israel using your country. Because Jordan and Egypt hate the Palestinians just like most Arab countries hate each other.